Good morning children. Exercise 10.1 We proceed on transportation problems based on least cost method abbreviated as LCM. In northwest corner rule we always see the northwest cell. In least cost method we check out of all the cells given the minimum cost we all know these numbers represent cost per unit item to be transported from each origin to each destination out of these costs let us choose the least before allocations let us check whether Total demand and total supply are equal. Total demand 30 plus 25 plus 45 that is 100. Total supply 25 plus 35 plus 40 that is also 100. Total demand and total supply are equal. So the given problem is a balanced transportation problem. So here the least is 4. So my first allocation, I must select the cell which is having the least cost. So I am here now. Here I have 35 and 45. The minimum is 35. So I can allocate 35 here. So this becomes 0. Here 45 minus 35 is 10. Now this row is done. So let us hide the row. As I hide the second row that is done. Let us choose the minimum of the remaining cells. 5. So here I have 25 whereas here I have 10. So maximum I can allocate 10. This becomes 0. And here 25 minus 10 will be 15. Now this column is done. So let us hide it. The remaining 4 cells. 6, 7, 8, 9. 6 is the minimum. So this is the next cell to be allocated. Here I have 25. Here I have 40. So out of 25 and 40, 25 is minimum. So maximum I can allocate 25. So cancel this, it becomes 0. Here 40 minus 25 is 15. Now second column is done. So let us hide that also. In the remaining two cells, 9 and 7. 7 is the minimum. Here I have 15. Here I have 30. Out of 30 and 15, 15 is minimum. So put 15 cancel which becomes 0. Here 30 minus 15 I will get 15. Now this is 0. So we can hide this row also. Only one cell left out and 15, 15. So we have 15 here. As we had completed the allocations, let us write them. O1 to D1. We can write O1 to D1. O1 to D3. We also have O2 to D3. We have O3 to D1. And O3 to D2. How many allocations are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Number of rows 3, number of columns 3. So number of allocations I have 
m plus n minus 1 that is 3 plus 3 minus 1 which is 5. So we have 5 allocations. So it is a non-degenerate solution. We shall write in detail here to find the total cost. O1 to D1. So I will say X11 is 15. Cost is 9. O1 to D3. It is 1, 3. So I will write X13 is 10. Cost is 5. O2 to D3. Or we say X23 is 35. Cost is 4. Now we have O3 to D1. X31 is 15. Cost is 7. O3 to D2. X32 is 25. Cost is 6. Let us multiply to get the total cost. And the total transportation cost is rupees 518 by least cost method. Question number 8. Ogle's approximation method. Obtain an initial basic feasible solution by VAM. VAM stands for Ogle's approximation method. Before applying the method, let us ensure total demand and total supply are equal. Total demand 7 plus 5 plus 3 plus 2 that is 17. Total supply 6 plus 1 plus 10 that is also 17. They are equal so it is a balanced transportation problem. What are the steps in Ogle's approximation method? Along with this problem let us list out the steps. Number 1. Calculate penalty. So we are going to calculate something called penalty. What is the penalty? In each row select the least and the next higher cost. The difference we call as penalty. Look at first row. 2 is the least of all the costs. The next higher is 3. So, 3 minus 2 gives us 1. In this row, 0 is the least and 1 is the next. 1 minus 0 is 1. Here, 5 is the least and 8 is the next highest. 8 minus 5 is 3. Similarly, we proceed for columns also. In the first column, least is 1, the next is 2. 2 minus 1, 1. Least is 0, the next is 3. 3 minus 0, 3. Least is 6 and the next is 11. 11 minus 6 is 5. Least is 1 and the next number is 7. So 7 minus 1 is 6. Step 1, penalty to be calculated which is done. Now, step 2. Select the row or column with largest penalty. In all the penalty values, 1, 1, 3, 1, 3, 5, 6. 6 is the largest. So choose this. After choosing 6, the column. Step 3. Allocate in the cell with minimum cost. In this column, Allocate with a minimum cost that is 1. So after choosing this column with largest penalty, in this column choose the least cost that is 1. So here I have to allocate. Look at supply is 1, demand is 2. I can substitute only 1. So this becomes 0 and this becomes 
2 minus 1, that is 1. Third step is over. Fourth step, eliminate the row or column where all the allocations are made. So, in this problem, 0 has come here. So, I have to eliminate O2. So, the next step, I will do only O1 and O3. So, eliminate this row and step 5, repeat all the steps. 1 to 4 should be repeated. As we repeat the steps for O1, O3 because O2 is eliminated. We have penalty. Minimum is 2 and the next is 3. 3 minus 2, 1. Minimum is 5 and the next is 8. 8 minus 5, 3. When I go column wise, 5 minus 2, 3. 8 minus 3, 5. 15 minus 11, 4. 9 minus 7, 2. As we check the penalty, the highest is 5. So we choose D2 column. In D2, 3 are 8. The minimum is 3. So this cell I have to choose. 5 here, 6 here. Out of which the minimum is 5. So we allocate 5. Once I have allocated, it becomes 0. This becomes 6 minus 5, that is 1. So, we will eliminate D2 column. We are left with D1, D3, D4. As we are left with D1, D3, D4 and O1, O3 row wise. Let us write down the supply. It is 1, 10. And the demand 7, 3, 1. Calculating the penalty least and the next higher. So 7 minus 2, 5. Least and the next higher. 9 minus 5, 4. Here 5 minus 2, 3. 15 minus 11, 4. 9 minus 7, 2. Out of all this, the highest is 5. So, we choose O1 row. In that, the minimum is 2. 1, 7. So, which one should I allocate? 1. So, this becomes 0 and this becomes 7 minus 1 that is 6. Proceeding to the next now, which row to be eliminated? O1 to be eliminated as it has become 0. O3 we are left with. And the columns D1, D3, D4. Finding the penalty. Minimum and the next higher. 9 minus 5 I have 4. Here there is no penalty because only one one cell is there. So no penalty. Choose what the highest penalty that is 4. In this the minimum is 5. So here 6, here 10. The minimum value is 6. So we allocate 6 here. It becomes 0. This becomes 10 minus 6, that is 4. We are left with O3 and hiding the column D1. We are left with D3, D4. The supply is 4 and the demand is 3, 1. Calculating the penalty 15 minus 9 is 6. Here only single cell, so no penalty. Highest is 6. In this, the minimum is 9. Allocating from these two, 1 or 4, 1 is minimum. Put 1. 
So this becomes 0 and this becomes 4 minus 1 that is 3. We are left with 3 and 3. So the final attempt is 3 in this cell. So we have 3 as the final allocation. How many allocations are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. How many rows? 3. How many columns? 4. So 3 plus 4 minus 1 that is 6. So exactly 6 allocations tell us it has a non-degenerate basic feasible solution. Now let us write down from each allocation. O2 to D4. O1 to D2. O1 to D1. O3 to D1. O3 to D4 and the last O3 to D3. From this, we can write the allocation X24. X12. X11. X31. X34 and X33. Let us fill up the values from the table. X24 is 1. X12 is 5. X11 is 1. X31 is 6. X34 is 1. And X33 is 3. To find the total transportation cost, let us multiply 1 into 1 plus 5 into 3 plus 1 into 2 plus 6 into 5 plus 1 into 9 plus 3 into 15. And the total cost is rupees 102. Hence, we have done the problem using Ogle's approximation method. Question number 9. Find initial basic feasible solution by Ogle's approximation method. Given D1, D2, D3, D4, 4 destinations, O1, O2, O3, 3 origins and the availability and requirement. Let us find out total demand, 30 plus 40 plus 20 plus 10, that is 100. Total availability, 30 plus 50 plus 20, that is also 100. Both are equal tells us it is a balanced transportation problem. Calculating the penalty. 3 least number next higher. 5 minus 3, 2. Here 5 minus 4, it is 1. 4 minus 2, it is 2. Do not calculate 4 minus 4. These two are same. So, this is the least cost. Find the difference from the next higher. So, 5 minus 4 is 1. Here, column wise, the penalty. 5 minus 4, 1. 5 minus 2, 3. 4 minus 3, 1. 6 minus 4, it is 2. Now, out of all, the highest penalty is 3. Select D2 column with the highest penalty. In that, the least cost is 2. So, this is my selected cell. 20, 40. The minimum number 20. So, allocate 20 here. This becomes 0. 40 minus 20 is 20. 
here zero comes so eliminate again let us calculate penalty 5 minus 3 2 5 minus 4 1 here no penalty 5 minus 4 1 8 minus 5 3 7 minus 3 4 6 minus 4 2 out of all 4 is the highest penalty so selecting d3 column the least cost is here 30 20 so 20 30 minimum is 20 allocate 20 here this becomes 10 and this becomes 0 as we allocate it is good that we write it the very first allocation we made O3 to D2. Let us write down O3 to D2. First allocation. Second allocation O1 to D3. Now this column becomes 0. So hide D3 column also. We are left with 6 cells. Again calculate the penalty. 6 minus 5, 1. 5 minus 4, 1. No penalty. 5 minus 4, 1. 8 minus 5, 3. No penalty. 6 minus 4, 2. Out of all, 3 is the highest penalty. Choosing D2 column. The minimum cost is 5. So we have to allocate here. Across 50, down 20. 20, 50. Minimum number 20. So choose 20. Cancel. It becomes 0. This 50 minus 20 will be 13. Now this has become 0. Hide D2 column also. Now we are left with only 4 cells. Again calculate the penalty. 6 minus 5, 1, 4 minus 4, same number, so no penalty. 5 minus 4, 1, no penalty. And 6 minus 4, 2. Out of the 3, 2 is bigger, so select 2. In this, 4, this is the minimum cost. So this is the selected cell. Here I have 30, here I have 10. So, minimum is 10. Allocate 10. This becomes 0. Here, 30 minus 10 is 20. Now, D4 has become 0. Eliminate D4 also. We are just left with 2 cells. Here, only 1 cell left out. So, no penalty. Here, 5 minus 4 is 1. The remaining, no penalty. Only this column is there. In that, the minimum cell is 4. Across 20, down 30. 20, 30. Minimum is 20. Allocate 20. Cancel. It becomes 0. This becomes 30 minus 20. That is 10. Now, here 10. Here also 10. Fill it up in the last column. As we have completed, let us remember to write the allocations and hence the total cost. How many allocations are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So how many rows? 3. How many columns? 4. So how many allocations? 3 plus 4 minus 1. Since there are M plus N minus 1 allocations, this particular problem has non-degenerate basic feasible solution. As we write the allocations, let us write X, I, J. O3 to D2 tells me X3, 2. This is X1, 3. X2, 2. X2, 4. X2, 1. X1, 1. Write down the allocations. X3, 2. Third row, second column, 20. 
cost is 2. X1 3. 20 cost is 3. X2 2. 20 cost 5. X2 4. 10 cost is 4. X2 1. 20 cost is 4. X11 one, one, 10 cost is 5. As we multiply, we get the total transportation cost is rupees 370 by Ogel's approximation method.